In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use a smart card with a Unidrive M700. The techniques I'll be showing you also apply to the Unidrive M600, the Unidrive M701, and the Unidrive M702. The smart card is an optional accessory that's used to back up both drive parameters and if your drive contains an onboard PLC program, a machine control studio program too. I'll begin by showing you how the smart card is installed, and then we'll review the card macros that are required to save and restore data to and from the card. I should also note that the smart card stores not only the drive parameters, but the smart card also saves the configuration parameters for any of the optional SI expansion modules that may be installed in the drive. So if you're ready, let's get started. The smart card is installed into a slot located behind the removable keypad. Both the keypad and the smart card can be removed and installed with power applied to the drive. However, you should be careful when installing the smart card because failure to install it correctly will result in a drive trip. Watch now as I demonstrate how to remove the keypad and install the smart card. I'm going to demonstrate how to install the smart card. It's located behind the keypad, so the first thing I'll do is pull the keypad off. To do that, you just grasp both sides of the keypad and just pull it straight towards you. It takes a little bit of effort, but it comes off. And then there's the smart card. So I'll unplug it. Notice the smart card has this piece of gold foil and the arrows that point towards the front of the card. The way to install this is to make sure the gold foil is always facing the left side of the drive as you're looking at it and then the arrows point towards the back or the heat sink of the drive. So to install it, I'm just going to slide it into the slot. Make sure it's fully inserted also, and you'll feel when it ends back there. And then I'll plug the keypad in again. And there you go. Macros are used to initiate automated drive actions in the Unidrive M700 and our other drives. Macros are initiated using the drive keypad. To use a drive macro, use the keypad to enter into parameter edit mode when viewing any menu parameter number zero. Basic drive macros for doing things like saving drive parameters or resetting the drive to default values are shown as options for parameter number zero when you press the up or down buttons in edit mode. However, you may also choose to enter a numeric code into parameter number zero that will trigger more advanced drive macros. The table shown here is taken from the control user guide for the Unidrive M700 and it illustrates the codes used to execute the advanced drive macros that I'm going to demonstrate. So let's have a look at some of these macros. The smart card can store up to 999 files. These files are referred to as data blocks in the user guide. A file can be a drive parameter set or an onboard PLC program that was developed using our Machine Control Studio software. Some examples of commonly used macros are entering a value of 4001 into parameter 0 would instruct the drive to create a parameter backup set and store that backup to file number 1 on the card. Entering a value of 5002 would instruct the drive to save the onboard PLC program into file number 2 on the card. To erase a file on the card, use the 700x macro where X would be replaced by the number of the file you'd like to erase. To restore parameters and the onboard PLC program, use the 600X macro, where X is replaced by the number of the file you'd like to transfer to the drive. The red reset button on the drive keypad is used to trigger the macro after you've entered its code into parameter number zero. Let's see how this works. I'm going to demonstrate how these macros work using a Unidrive M700 
and this drive has a set of working parameters and it's also got a machine control studio program that is currently running and I can tell that because of this icon that's displayed on the right side of the screen here on the keypad. This indicates the presence of an onboard Machine Control Studio program. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to erase file number one and file number two using macros. And then I'm going to store the drive parameters into file number one on the, S on the card. And then I'm going to store the Machine Control Studio into file number two. So to do that, I'm going to first begin by navigating to any parameter number 0. Now I can see where I'm at right now. I'm in menu 1, parameter 21. So I'm going to navigate using the down arrow until I get to menu 1, parameter 0. Any parameter 0 in any menu will do the same thing. So here I am, menu 1, parameter 0. Then I'm going to press enter so I'm down here in edit mode. Now earlier I referred to some text-based macros that are available for you and I'll show you those. If I hit the up arrow you'll see one there to save parameters. If I hit it again you'll see another one that would load file 1 from the card into the drive. If I hit it again there's another one to save the drive parameters to file 1. So you can see that there are some built-in text-based macros here, but the hard-coded ones I'm going to demonstrate are a little more flexible. So to begin, I'm going to erase file number one, and I'm going to do that by using the macro 7001. So I'll use the up arrow to get to seven, the right arrow I'll move over, and then I'll make that a one. And then to initiate these macros, we use the reset button. So it's going to initialize file one. And when it's finished, it's going to come back and display a no action indication. No action means that the action has been completed. So there I've erased file one. I'm going to do the same thing for file two. I'm going to use the left arrow now to move the cursor over. And I'm going to make that a 7. Use the right arrow to make that a 2 to erase file 2. And then the reset button. And there we go again. It's initializing file 2. So now I've made space in file 1 and file 2. I'm going to begin by saving the drive parameters to file 1. So I'm going to use the left arrow and I'm going to make this a 4 now. So 4001 will save the drive parameters to file number 1. Reset. No action. That means the parameters have now been saved. And now I'm going to save the Machine Control Studio program here. So left arrow, and I'm going to use 5002 to save the Machine Control Studio to file 2. Reset. Now this might take a little longer depending on the size of your Machine Control Studio program. But when it's finished, it will come back with no action, like um, any other macro. So there we go. So now I've saved the drive parameters to file number one, and the Machine Control Studio to file two. Now that we've saved the drive parameters and the onboard PLC program to a smart card, let's see how to restore them. We'll be using the 600x macro to perform this action. Be sure to save the drive parameters when you are finished using either the text-based Save Parameters macro or by entering a value of 1001 into parameter number 0. Watch now as I demonstrate how to transfer data from the smart card back to the drive. I'm going to demonstrate how to restore the files that we saved to the smart card back to the drive. Now, I've just reset the drive to US defaults here, and I'm going to 
show you that because right now I've got an encoder trip and because of the fact that I'm using an NDAT encoder, uh, the drive is going to be in the trip state until I get the encoder set up correctly. So you can see now that I'm in menu 3 parameter 38 and that is the encoder type and clearly it's showing that it's AB servo. So that's not what we'd like. So I'm going to use my stored data on the smart card to restore the drive parameters first. So to begin I'm going to navigate to any parameter 0. In this case I'll stay right in menu 3. And I'll move down with the down arrow until I get to parameter 0. OK. Enter to get to edit mode. And now the macro we're going to use to restore data is 6000. So I'll move the cursor to the left. I'll use the up arrow until I see 6. And I'll load the drive parameters first. So that's file 1. Press the reset. Now that the drive parameters are restored, I should be able to reset the trip. So I'll just do that. There. So now the encoder type is correct, and I'll verify that by going in now to look at menu 3, parameter 38. So I'll use the up arrow. And there we have it. So the drive parameters have now been restored, and all we need to do now is put the Machine Control Studio back in. So I'm going to go to back to parameter 0 to do that. Using the down arrow. Press Enter to get to edit mode. Now to restore the Machine Control Studio program, that's in file 2. So I will move over and I'll make this 6002 to load file 2. And then press reset. And now it's transferring the file and you can see the card active icon up there. So it's transferred the drive, the Machine Control Studio program down to the drive. And there you can see it. There's the icon indicating that the Machine Control Studio program is loaded. So now the drive has been fully restored.